Seatbelt. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them.
Want to be a brand new you? Try out. Our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Yeah, fair point. Now I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report.
Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up.
Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking the door. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. I don't know you. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Coming right up. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. Don't let the boss catch you. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller.
Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. I know how you feel. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard the road. monkey argo seems we've got a guest really now parvati i do wish you'd spoken up i do apologize i was given no forewarning of your arrival or i might have welcomed you at the gates myself i'm reed thompson outpost administrator i must say Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Thank you. 
I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to... You will need an in- Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and Well, I am glad to hear that. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I. You just want to get out. Of it's just. Miss. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear, it does its job quietly. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't. Mr. Thompson's a I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, that's what my dad used to do. On my way!
Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. At least you got your health. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees, and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent... Shame, though. Woke up one morning and put a round through his... Just between... Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Oh, sweet merciful law! A marauder's in my domicile! There a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. What? No. I mean, uh, I might... Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. I'm dying. I'm not long for the- Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. It's plague. You are? Oh, well, I'll pay your fees. I don't want any- 
There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. I need you to break in. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken... I know that, but I got nobody... Read what... You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering. Please don't touch anything. Physical hygiene. So everyone says. I'm Conrad. You will. Ah, gravesite fees. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, I simply cannot afford it. I am a With what? My own- Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect- Some time ago, I fell ill, frankly, not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clip. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything. Much obliged. What can I do for you? Go ahead. all in trouble what do you think you're doing just keep your fingers to your own self okay What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. Eugene's gold... That's unthinkable! Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein... I can't ask... 
Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Des I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only... I'm sure that I have no other... Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with... Eugene was not a suicide. I was the one... Eugene... It's a miracle of your... We can... I included... Something inside the walls that no. wish we had some better rations. This is where the magic happens. Well, science, but it still happens.
Here we go. Nice one. Hmm. You hide Incoming! 